Right, do you remember Giacanori? Yeah, they used to tell the stories. Well, they had a guy on Giacanori telling the story of Cinderella, but they didn't realise he was dyslexic. And it went something like this. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young girl called Rindy Seller, who lived in a large mansion with her two ugly sisters and sticky wet mother. Now, Rindy Seller worked very hard, flogging scrolls, weaning clindles, and shivelling shut. In fact, by the end of the day, Rindy Seller was mucking fuckered. Now, Rindy Seller had two sisters, and they were called Mary Hinge and Betty Swallows. And they both had tickets to Bolter the Gaul, but they will not let Rindy Seller go. In fact, her only friend was Buttons, and he wasn't speaking to Rindy Seller, because she wouldn't cook his sock. Later that night, Rindy Seller was sitting there all alone, and suddenly there was a hooking huge bang, and a little old lady appeared. Shinders writ herself. Foo the hooky you, she cried. Foo the hooky you. Don't be afraid, said the woman. I'm your Gary Fod mother. And with a waft of her wind, she turned a pumpkin and six mice into a hooking huge carriage. Mice are crooking fighty, Rindis shouted. It's a mucking furicle. But her Gary Fod mother said, You must be back by midnight, or there'll be a cooking calamity. At the ball, Rindy Seller was dancing with the Pransom Hints. He'd been there since eight o'clock and was as fist as a part. Shanty a fag, he said. Shanty a fag. Suddenly the clock struck twelve and Rindy Seller pucking fanicked and went running out of the ballroom, tripping bass over Ollocks. Bum cack! Bum cack! Cart cried the Pransom Hints. I didn't even get a Joe Blob. <laughs> and looking down, he spotted Rindy Sellers slash clipper. And picking it up, said, Whoever this clipper sits, I shall marry. So on the next day he tried the slash clipper on Betty Swallocks. <laughs> but the clipper wouldn't sit. In fact, she tried so hard she let out a fig bark. <laughs> Ooh, that stucking thing, cried the prancing pins. Who's fuss charted? Who's fuss charted? It's that felly smucker over there, said Buttons. So we tried the slash glipper on Rindy Seller. And the glipper sitted, pucking perfectly. And taking hold of Rindy Seller's hand, took her upstairs and bagged her shame out. <laughs> And, and later, Rindy Seller and the Pranser Mints were both married. And Rindy Seller ended up with eight children and a fallen swanny. <laughs> Every credit. How brilliant is that?